Hey guys, welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth video. And we are going to be doing Rulers of the Outer Worlds Brutal Challenge. And let me tell you guys, it is absolutely brutal. Um, so let's start with the builds. Now we're going to be using Barrett, Aerith and Yuffie. Um, so Yuffie is going to be a massive ATB builder. Um, Aerith is going to be your main damage dealer and then Barrett is going to be your buffer, your healer, um, basically the support character in this one. Um, so let's start with Barrett. Now we're going to go with Barrage Blaster, Cetron Armlet and Choco King's Cape. The Choco King's Cape will give you uh, a full ATB charge ready to go. Material wise. Well, we're going to go with Empowerment Materia, so this will allow us to use Bravery and Faith. Revival, now this is just as a precaution, uh, just in case we need it. Uh, magic Efficiency Materia, which will reduce the cost of using Barrier. Um, but we're also going to use Barrier and Magnify, so that will allow us to um, cast Mana Wall on all characters at the same time. Swift cast with time um, to reduce the amount of time it takes to cast haste, which we're going to be casting on to Yuffie. Um, auto unique ability material, which allows him to use overcharge, um, and with the weapon ability, um, it will grant automatic protection too, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and then prayer material, which Guys, I can't tell you how much uh, important that has been during this challenge. Um, elemental links with fire so that we are absorbing the fire attacks. And then cleansing and magnify. Again, just as like um, a bit of support if we do take some um, negative statuses. Um, like Gilgamesh can turn you into a frog. Uh, so, trade-off's not really a problem. Overcharge protection uh, grants protect to Barret after using overcharge. So, he will use overcharge automatically with the auto weapon ability materia. Um, and it will apply the protect status. Um, selfish bu uh, buff up will also increase that by 20%. And anything else that we do add, so mana wall will be uh, beneficial for an extra 25%. And then... Overlay, overload, overcharge, um, which will reduce the time for overcharge. And we're not really going to use Barrett much at all, just a couple of, uh, couple of little bits. But we are going to make him the leader and, and like use him as first. Um, anyway, move on to Aerith. So we're going to be using Plumrose Rod, Cetron Bracer for the eight slots, and then Enhance Physics Charge. That's what I'm charm. Sorry, that's what I'm using. Um, if I had the Genji Gloves, then I would use that, but currently I don't have the Genji Gloves, um, which is, um, it breaks the 9,999 barrier. Um, so I'm using this, which increases the max MP and magic power by 8%. Um, material wise uh, fire and ice with MP absorb absorption. So what's going to happen here is every time you use a fire and ice, we are going to reabsorb the material, uh, the MP. Enemy skill is there just to buff up all the stats. Magic up and first strike and auto unique ability material. Now first strike will obviously give us an ATB or almost an ATB at the start of the battle. Uh, magic up just to increase the magic and then auto unique ability materia the same in regards to Barrett sort of but when you have a ward cast um, She will automatically jump to that ward um, saving you um, a good bit of time and also allows her because we're going to be using arcane ward it will double up the amount of magic being cast mp up hp up self-explanatory elemental with fire now i am using a basic fire here but it will work just the same um, as we are using it to absorb magic focus materia on fire just to give that extra zap um you know an extra 20 percent in the potency magic focus with lightning and wind 
Um, weapon abilities, we're going for Enduring Ward, which will increase the length of time um, that the wards will be in place. Ward Shift Mastery, so she will automatically whiz back to the ward. Um, enhanced Magic Guard, and then MP, uh, HP 200+. plus. Yuffie, uh, Thirst Strike Materia with Speed Materia. Um, just to give her that extra boost of speed, we're going to go fire and elemental. Uh, now, guys, my elemental isn't maxed here, um, but it's two star, which means it will nullify fire attacks. HP up, MP up, revival as a like a, a side, just in case. Um, strength up. And then we've got a couple of spirit up and a couple of vitality up just to really buff her defense um, because when you come up against Sephiroth, you are really going to struggle with her defense. So we're going to go with Present Sickle, Hades Armor, and Speed Demon Keychain. The Speed Demon Keychain is really important here. And then Weapon Abilities, Attack Power plus 20, Shrunken Mastery, Opening ATB Bonus, and ATB Charge Rate up um, so they're going to really push you to get what you need and build that ATB up for everyone so let's head in it's so good to see you I've been traveling from town to town but I'm having some difficulty narrowing it down And um, we're going to go uh, Barrett, Yuffie, and then Aerith. Okay, so you're going to come up against Kajar and Phoenix here. <clears throat> so you want to start with Haste on Yuffie. And then you want to use ATB Ward. On Yuffie. Once the ATB ward is in place, you're going to start uh, using Bumal Form and just bounce back and forth. Make sure Aerith has got her own ward on there so that she can cast double magic. And you're going to keep spamming Kajata um, with Fire. You can then also make sure Mana Wall is equipped, uh, cast, sorry, towards everyone on the team keep spamming fire and hopefully he won't change his um, element type now at this point you can't actually attack Phoenix um, it's like Kajata is like a tether um, that stops you attacking him so keep casting fire again take some big damage off him And get rid of him after that keep building that uh, ATB back up um, you can't actually do anything now until rebirth flame is complete uh, this is why the elemental is important now Yuffie because I haven't got elemental max with her is going to fall down but that's not a problem um, she won't take any damage but she will fall down now I put Blizzard on Phoenix here um, for some reason it's not worked so we're gonna try it again so Blizzard on Phoenix now you can get rid of Phoenix now that um, Kaja uh, Kajata has died um, and we're gonna keep just building that ATB up by using that Bumal form and then keep spamming Blizzard on Phoenix Um, and use Prey if you feel that you're running a little bit low on health. Phoenix is almost gone. Should be gone after um, this one. Now I know you can't see the action. Um, but I'm just focusing on building that ATB back up. Um, and then here we're going to use Fire Again. Just keep spamming it on to Kajata. Now if he does change his form, um, then make sure you are aware that you will need to change um, your 
type. But that is Kajata defeated. So second one we're coming up against Titan and Bahamut. So we're going to go haste on Yuffie. And then we're going to use ATB Ward again on Yuffie. Well, this is such an incredible build. Uh, and then we're going to make sure that we have Arcane Ward again on Aerith. So that she is doing double spells and the second one is free. So then we're going to use Aragor. And we're going to do it on Titan because he is weak to it. Now, like I said in the start, if you have Genji gloves, you are going to do some serious damage to Titan. Uh, I am only doing maximum like 9999. Oh, no, not 99,000. <laughs> 9,999. Keep building that uh, ward back up, uh, that ATB back up, sorry, uh, using the ward. Finish off Titan. And then we're going to move to Fyraga, um, mainly to get our ATB, no, to get our MP back as we're building up that ATB and stuff. And um, Fyraga will eventually kill him. But because she's in the ward, like I said, the second one will give you free, uh, free cast, and you will get double the MP back. And you will need the MP ready for the third uh, fight, definitely. I know you get 50% back anyway, um, but you will need, definitely need the MP um, coming for this third fight. Now this third fight is Alexander and Odin, quite a daunting task but actually not bad at all so we're going to go haste again on Yuffie, we're going to go ATB ward again on Yuffie and we're going to spam abysmal form again, arcane ward on Aerith giving her double spells again and then we're going to do mana wall just to help um, against Odin's attacks if you can't uh, dodge them. So this time we're going to go Thundergar and get rid of the two arms of Alexander. But this is why you'll need the MP because you won't be absorbing anything with this. Um, and then keep spamming Thundergar on Alexander until he's gone. Hopefully you will keep um, missing Odin's attacks. He will hit you um, every now and again if you're unlucky. Um, and if he does hit you enough, he will use Anzakutan. So once Alexander's gone, we're going to go back to Fyraga. Build that MP back up. If you do need to zap a little bit of MP from him, please do. Um, but you will now make the MP back up as you spam a Fyriga. And Fyriga will kill him eventually. Just keep building that Brumal form up. That ATB up. And wipe Odin out. I actually found him easier in this one than I found him um, in the original. And I am going to do another video on how to beat Odin. Um, I have done one video uh, where I was really poor setup and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to do another kind of advanced setup to beat Odin too. Um, so Gilgamesh here. Um, Gilgamesh is really quick. Um, can debuff you, can turn you into a frog. So we're going to go the same again, haste, ATB ward, and then build that brumal form back up. 
Uh, now, what I didn't mention in the start was um, making sure that you have Brumal form um, as a shortcut. Uh, I kind of got a little bit lost here, what I was doing. Um, all is not lost as well if you do die. So, Fire Regret against Gilgamesh is the best. Um, we're also going to make sure that we are casting um, Mana Wall as well, just to try and stay alive. Once you've got past this like Twister section, you should be golden as Fire Regret will start eating away at Gilgamesh. Um, use Prey just to keep your health up. So, this is why I brought... Um, raise so a rise and Yuffie but all is not lost guys you can recover from this um, throw your shrunken build that ATB up pretty quick um, and then get uh, haste back onto her and then basically let's get back on track and recover the fight go back to Brumal form back to Fyriga keep spamming that Fyriga now we're back on top um, Mana Wall again just to cover us don't worry about his forms too much just keep spamming that broom will form now. Get that ATB up. Keep hitting fire again. And like I said previously, if you have got um, Genji gloves on, you will do even more damage. Now try and make sure you finish with kind of full health as well if you can, ready for Virtual Sephiroth. Virtual Sephiroth is really not a nice fight guys and um, that should be Galgamesh done Gilgamesh done and get ready for a fight here now you've got to get super lucky against Sephiroth I'm not gonna lie I've died against him a lot of times so we're gonna go straight with Haste on Yuffie. Now, just let him make his attack and then use ATB Ward. Because what you might find is he might hit uh, Aerith at the same time. Right, so we're going to go with Arcane Ward and we're also going to go straight with Mana Wall. Now, I got really, really lucky in this run. Um, so, what he does is he tethers. Yeah. Um, which, as you can see there, Barrett is uh, inactive. But I got really lucky that I kept using Brumal Form here and just dodging. Um, and every time she used Fyriga, uh, she knocked him down. So we just keep spamming it, spamming it and spamming it. Until he's about half health. Um, I accidentally switched to Aerith there. Um, so moving out of the ward just to miss his attacks as well. And what you find is in a moment he will move from being fire to, uh, sorry, towards a, f a fire uh, based attack. So here we're going to use ice which will do the damage and again just staying away from him um, and using mana wall again just to give us that extra level of protection um, if you really are as lucky as I was in this run um, then brilliant uh, using Bligaza just to keep hitting him I'm literally doing nothing but spamming with Yuffie. Now, unfortunately for me, he changed back to fire just, uh, sorry, back to ice just as 
I cast um, that. Uh, so was very worried actually that he was going to destroy me within seconds after hitting that Octo Slash. But the Mana Wall protected me. Um, and then Fireiger finished him off. Uh, so that is it guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, that will get you the Gotterdam Rung. Take care. Catch me next time when we do the legendary videos. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.